the blood type diet? Yeah, I believe in that, but only based on my personal experience. Let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Butts and I'm a doctor of dental surgery. And this channel is all about health and wellness for you to be healthy and wealthy. And today we are talking about the blood type diet again, <laughs> because um, I feel like we can't talk about it enough. All right. Now I have experiences with the blood type diet myself. Uh, and now that I have a video that is, I guess, going viral, uh, the old blood type video, um, I'm noticing of the 11,000 comments, I'm noticing that some people are seeing the results for themselves. Some people eat that way themselves and they didn't even realize that they were eating that way. They just naturally didn't like things and naturally gravitated to things. Well, I wasn't that way. I was naturally eating everything <laughs> and just letting it happen to me. And once I started having more of a discriminating taste and, and having an understanding, like for me, and people went crazy over this, avocados, uh, for me, aren't great. Although, I will have some sushi that has avocados in it, and I will have some amazing guacamole, because guacamole is amazing. I just limit it, I don't eat it every day, because it just, it just was problematic for me, okay? So, they say that for an old blood type, that avocados are not good for you. And I would say that that can't be true because avocados have that really good fat in it and you're supposed to eat avocados, but this is just my experience. All right, so I wanted to start a garden, right? And um, I saw a YouTube video on how to make avocados. Now, do you know that it takes like five or six years, seven years or something like that to make avocados, to make, make an avocado tree? Did you know that? I didn't know that, okay? so. You got to take off the skin of it. You have to make sure you find out what the top and the bottom is. You stick some uh, toothpicks in it and you put it over some water and you, you hang it so the toothpicks kind of suspend the seed over water. Okay? And I, and I did that. And lo and behold, roots sprout out of the seed and they go into the water and it starts getting bigger. It's pretty incredible. I, I've called myself a green thumb for a little while. And I was believing this so much that I started eating more avocados and I'd save the seeds, I'd skin the seeds and I started doing this. I had maybe five or six seeds of avocados working in my house on my like dining, in my like living room, right? And, I, and it was fine, okay? But this is something that was happening to me. Now, I like, uh, when I go to sleep, I like the door to be closed and I like no light, so I have like blackout curtains and I just, I like a really good sleep, okay? So as I'm growing these avocados, when I woke up in the morning, I'd be great. Ah, it's good to be up, I'm alive, you know? And um, I'd open my door to the living room and my nose would start running, like running like a faucet and I start sneezing and my eyes would start getting watery and I was like, this is ridiculous. I was like, I must have a cold or something like that. Didn't really think about it. I go to work, I'd be fine. I'd come back home and my nose would start running and I was like, what is going on? So I'm still loving my plants because I would talk to them every day like, hey guys, how you doing? It's good to see you, you know? And it, I love on these plants because I heard that you're supposed to talk to them and give them love and, and, affection, and affection and attention. I was doing all that stuff while my nose was running almost on them, okay? Well, I, I, I reviewed some things about the blood type diet and I saw that I'm allergic to avocados. I saw that, just an experience. So what I did was I took the avocados and put them on my deck outside. Now I don't remember what time of year this was, if it was hot or cold, I can't remember because it was some time ago. But I put it on my porch. Well, the next mornings that I'd come up, I, I wouldn't, my nose wouldn't be running as badly. And I'd leave and I'd come back and everything was fine. 
And then I'm, 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 I go outside and I'm like, hey, avocado wanna be plant seeds guys? Um, how you guys doing? And they would look at me and they say, we're doing fine. And I was like, you are doing fine. But then I put them back inside. I was like, they're so cute. They, they can't be hurting me like that. They, they couldn't be. I put them back inside because I was like, you guys can't be out here. Like it was extreme weather. I mean, I live in Atlanta and I was like, I don't, I need you guys to be all right. Come, come back inside. But when I brought them back inside, that whole runny nose thing started happening again. And that was it. That was the evidence that I needed to have for me to say, you know what? Maybe you guys are not good for me. And I let them go. Now, I'm not going to talk about how I let them go. All right. But they were gone, maybe with a vengeance, maybe. All right. Maybe I didn't love them as much anymore. Yeah, maybe I didn't. But once the avocados were gone, and my nose stopped running whenever I came home or when I opened my door up to a beautiful day. I was like, oh, okay, well, maybe that was the thing. And that was it, seen. That's one of my evidence that says on my list, it says no avocados, and it has a bunch of other vegetables that I should and could be eating, like kale and onions and garlic. Okay, so that was my experience. And my experience was like, okay, well maybe avocados aren't good for me and I'm just gonna keep going. And that's all I did, was I just tested a bunch of things out and they seemed to ring true. And then as I started this channel and I happened to do a blood type video and the video went viral-ish and all these people started commenting and, and saying things about their experiences with the blood type diet, I was like, wow, there must be something to this. So I just kept going in on it. I kept trying it and honestly, I feel great. And because I feel great, I'm like, this must be working. But I, I, I'm still willing to hear some things. I'm still open-minded to, you know, maybe it's not real. I mean, the guy that wrote the book, Doctor, you know, I always feel like those, those thunder things with the lightning. Whenever I say, I say something, and it lightnings like right at the time. It's just been a Sunday recording thing. It's, I don't know what it is, but I'm just gonna say, Dr. Peter Diadamo. Anyway, okay, good. He wrote it, all right, he wrote it. And he got the research from his father, James Diadamo. And I'm like, okay, all right, these guys are in it. But honestly, I mean, I, I, what, I think Dr. Dr. Diadamo, I think he's an A blood type. And I think his wife is an O blood type. And, you know, I mean, he's a New Yorker. It looks like he's a New Yorker. I think he lives just above where I came from in New York, right? Just north of where I was from. And, um, you know, he doesn't look like, the, like the, the example of health and wellness. He doesn't look that way to me, you know, I mean, I would say that uh, there was a health guru. His name is uh, Jack LaLanne. He, he was the pit uh, of fitness to me, okay? And, and he was like 90 something something, still swimming and lifting weights and all that stuff. And I was like, okay, this guy's doing it. And more importantly, with Jack LaLanne, his wife, who had to be deep in her 80s, said, and this is love. She said that my husband needs to have sex every day. What? Deep in his 90s, he had to have sex every day? Okay, maybe there are some things that now maybe go boop, 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 boop. Wait, huh, what? All right, but that was just, that was so, that was now a goal now, okay? So when I'm married I, and, and, and I have, and I have a, a wife who is 80, and I'm 90 something, she's gonna need to have sex with me every day, just like Jack Lane. And my, my premise is that this blood type diet, plus exercise, plus good sleep, plus detoxification, plus mindfulness behavior, all these things I'm saying, I'm gonna combine all these up so that I can be healthy, 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 and wealthy, deep into my 90s, and my love, my lover, my wife will be able to have me perform for her on a daily basis. Yes, why not? So I got goals. You should have your own goals, okay? And um, those are the things that 
I'm saying, you know what, there's, there's something that's way ahead of me that's going to be on my things to do list and I look forward to being there. So I'm choosing a way of living and a diet that I believe is going to get me there and make it, make it so. Number one, make it so, right? So that's really it. What? Why wouldn't I want to be as healthy as possible? Why wouldn't you want to be as healthy as possible and live your best life and make sweet love to your loved ones all the time? Because you can, because you're healthy enough to do that. Yes, I say yes. Jacqueline did it. I'm saying I'm doing that, right? So be open-minded. Now, the, the, the blood type diet, uh, the author, like I said, he doesn't look like like the example of health and wellness to me, but he just got an award in 2023 for his contributions to society. And he does have a lot of his own evidence base. I mean, please check him out. Dr. Dr. Peter Diadamo, he's the author of Eat Right For Your Type book, which really has not been changed since he wrote it. And his colleagues are saying, you are the man and we recognize you as being the man. And I just think that that's great. So if that is what's working for him or it's working for me, I'm saying I'm just going to keep this up, right? And I, I think that you guys should do whatever diet you should do that's going to keep you up, gentlemen, right? And, and keep you healthy and able to do whatever you want to do because that is all that health is, right? I mean, everyone's dying. Everyone's dying. But the healthy person is only dying slower than the unhealthy person. That's it. So be a healthy person, live your life. And that's what I'm doing with my life and I'm sharing my experience with you. I'm doing the blood type diet until I see evidence that it doesn't work. So far, it seems like it works, so far. So if it works for you, great. If it doesn't work for you, that's okay. But be open-minded, test it out, try it, see how you feel. You know, I, um, I, jumped, I jumped online on uh, Instagram uh, earlier on today. And I, uh, I saw an influencer, a beautiful person, uh, online, right? And um, she was talking about something like antibody shaming or something like that, right? Now, she obviously had all of her teeth done and there her teeth looked amazing. She is a beautiful woman. She had plastic surgery. She had multiple plastic surgeries. Okay, all right, all right. Um, to me, surgery, elective surgery, is just dangerous. We've heard of all of these influencers, a lot of influencers that have died on the table trying to enhance their body to be a way that they feel that society would accept them, and, that, and that's fine. And I chimed in, I was like, do you know what your blood type is? She didn't answer me, she's still going. I said, do you know what your blood type is? One person that read my comment, they were like, why would you need to know that? And I said, oh, it'll help you choose what foods you should eat. I did, that person didn't answer. I was like, ooh, but what's your blood type? Now she looks right at the camera. She's like, I don't know what my blood type is, but I know that my blood type is clean. <laughs> and she didn't have any diseases. That's what she said. And I was like, okay, thanks, right? But she, this is a person that maybe she doesn't need to know what her blood type is. Maybe she's already doing some things naturally that are working for her. And I said, great, do, do what you got to do and, and let people live. I say, eh, maybe it's better to know what your blood type is, but you don't have to agree with me. What you do have to do is feel good with yourself and make sure that yourself is doing what self needs. Now, if surgeries is the way that you say is going to be the best way to go in order to lose fat or something like that, well, then I would say, well, there's probably a reason why you're getting bigger and it might be in your diet. I mean, she looks like she exercises, so maybe she's eating something that's causing inflammation and it's not working for her. But anyway, beautiful person, not gonna say her name, but she was Instagram beautiful and uh, the surgeries were working for her. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna say no to surgeries for myself. I'm just gonna eat right, sleep right, exercise, have some detoxification moments, and meditate. And that's all I really want to say about that, all right? 
You guys have been great. Thank you so much for watching, staying tuned to the channel. Um, if you're new to the channel, thank you for coming. Thank you for listening. Um, if you are that beautiful influencer, thank you for letting me know that you don't know, <laughs> which is great. Um, please like and subscribe. Oh my goodness, uh, since we started, uh, we are almost at 8,000 subscribers. And I'd like to thank all 8,000 of you for subscribing and listening and going on a journey of health and wellness for you to be healthy and wealthy because that's really all that this channel is about. So thank you so much. If you don't know what your blood type is, below I have the exact blood type that you can get for you to determine what your blood type is. And also, I also have a copy of the book. Please go get the book if you want to know more. Um, thank you so much, guys. We'll talk about it later.